All right, here it is. Welcome back, YouTube. 2022 uh, full room tour, uh, end of the year of the collection, how it's going, and um, hopefully be able to get you a bit of a view of, of what I've been collecting over the uh, past year. All the new pieces, all the um, the different genres. Um, there's a there's a hundred and twelve statues. I have 112 statues. I have uh, two busts, one half scale piece, and uh, a fair few different pieces coming in next year as well to um, to add to the collection. But it uh, it's definitely um, a changing changing collection. I uh, next year I've got some uh, life size stuff coming in. I've got more half scale stuff coming in. I've got um, all sorts of different things coming in next year, which will be cool. Plus I am building a new place and I will be doing a full room uh, specifically for the collection. So just want to give you an overview and I wish more people would do this when they do collection room tours. Just give an overview first of what's in the rooms, let people see what's there if they're interested or not. And then uh, and then you can either keep moving or, or watch the video. But um, appreciate all the support this year, everyone, uh, all the views, all the comments. Uh, always love hearing what everyone has to say about the collection and um, you know it's always uh, it's always good fun just adding to it and talking to people about something that you're interested in so this um, this collection to date has cost me exactly or probably not exactly but thereabouts um, $180,000 Aussie dollars so that's just the collection just the statues just the um, Oh, oh, camera's freaking out after hearing that, how much this costs. Um, that's just the collection, just the statues themselves, and not, not nothing to do with the shelving or the uh, lights or anything like that. I just I deducted all that. So it's about 180 grand of just statues, busts, you know, lightsabers, um, swords, all this sort of thing. I've got a heap of artwork and stuff over the other side. Um, out the back here but uh, anyway it's over the back there but yeah so quite expensive 112 statues uh, two busts one half scale lightsabers swords all sorts of stuff so all right let's get into the tour so up first we've got Dr. Doom maquette sideshow awesome piece this is new to the collection oh hold on camera's freaking out then we've got Batman 52. I take the little thingy off because it always uh, wants to fall off. Uh, Batman Hush, Prime 1. Very, very awesome Batman. Um, Superman Hush, Prime 1. Probably one of the best Supermans out there. They just released this in quarter scale. Everyone got the shits. Um, I don't care because I got one. Uh, Apocalypse, XM Studios, Hulk on Throne, Queen Studios, Gladiator Hulk, Sideshow, Juggernaut, Sideshow, um, General Grievous, Sideshow, uh, The Thing, XM Studios, The Extra Bust, Free of Charge, um, uh, what's his name? Colossus. I think this is a sideshow piece. Beast XM Studios. Uh, what's his name? Magneto Sideshow. Um, I'm gonna have to sneak in here. You got Kratos on Throne uh, Gaming Heads, I think. Then you've also got uh, Vader, old sideshow piece. One of my first pieces that. Um, this is. Storm, Sideshow, then two um, Achilles and uh, Leonidas from, I forget, ARH, ARH Studios, um, Obelisk the Tormentor, R Studios, going to sell this piece, doesn't really go anywhere, um, Sabretooth, 
Sideshow, Deadpool, Sideshow, um, Wolverine, Sideshow. Then you've got Cable, Rogue, and Gambit, all Sideshow. Um, then we have Galactus, Surfer, and Darkseid. Uh, I think they're all Sideshow. Yep. Um, we've got Skeletor, Hordak, and Taskmaster. Uh, I think, again, all Sideshow. Then we've got Thanos on Throne and Thor, both by Sideshow. That Thanos on Throne is probably my favourite statue in the collection. Um, that or the Ghost Rider by XM. So Thanos or Ghost Rider still hold the number one spot. It's hard to determine which one. Um, up here we've got Sideshow Iron Man, Bowen Designs Hulk, Sideshow Cap, um, OG Sideshow Hulk, still a great Hulk. There's a lot of new Hulks coming out. I've got the LBS uh, big one coming out, the quarter scale or third scale one by XM and all that. That'll come in next year, so very keen on that one. Um, Spider-Man Sideshow, Iron Man Sideshow, Bowen Venom. This, to me, is the best Venom pose I've ever seen in a statue. I do have Sideshow's new Venom. I love it, but it's no Bowen, it's no Bowen um, pose. If they made this in a quarter scale, I'd be buying that for sure. Um, Punisher, Daredevil, XM, Ghost Rider, XM. So again, one of my favorite statues, the whole collection. Just really well put together. Rhino, XM, um, Doomsday, Sideshow. Uh, Trinity, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, all Sideshow. Um, I, uh, what's it called, Flash. Uh, fuck, what are they called? Uh, Aquaman and Green Lantern. Again, I'm pretty sure all Sideshow. Do my best to get around here. You got Darth Revan, XM. Then you got Deathwing, Sideshow, I think. OG Sideshow. Then you got three baddies, Star Wars. Um, Cyborg and Bane. Heaps of swords and um, these are all United Cutlery, Lord of the Rings swords. They come with plaques and all sorts of stuff. And I'll put all these together properly in my room when I've got my um, statue room. So I'll put them all together properly there. But all these weapons and stuff I want to put together in the room. This is my first half scale. This is Queen Studios Captain America. Half scale statue. It's got silicon, um, silicon, it's up moves, silicon face and glass eyes. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so it's half the size of what it would be in real life. And you can change the shield out to the broken one, all that sort of stuff. It's pretty cool. So I've got the half scale Iron Man coming in and a full scale Iron Man coming in next year as well. Um, coming over here, we've got Sauron Prime One Studios. It's got to be up there in the statues list. Uh, Balrog vs. Gandalf. Again, Prime One Studios. Such a great piece. Awesome light up feature. Absolutely awesome light up feature. Um, Nazgul. Iron Studios, I think. This is the little uh, finger bit for the Sauron piece. Then you've got Lertz, Prime 1. Prime 1 Lertz. Quarter scale. Cool piece. Then you've got one of my top five statues. Uh, Predator, Prime 1 Studios. With the, uh, prop, with the uh, companion piece. Dead Body, just one of my favourite uh, 
things. You get to switch out head and everything on a stand, which is what I like. You get an actual stand with these. Well done, Prime One. Um, Prime One Scorpion Alien. I'm gonna get more aliens next year. Whoop. I'm gonna get more aliens next year. Prime One Scorpion Alien. Um, tusk, crack tusk, prime one. Cool, very tall piece. Um, prime one, Sengoku uh, statue. No, no stands, so you've got to place the heads on the on the base, which is annoying. That's why I say that one's good. Um, here is the Witcher, prime one. Sold out really quick. Great series. Never played the game. Um, Broly by Last Sleep Studios, quarter scale. It's a hell of a piece, it's a massive piece. Very interesting, you know, these are all real sharp. Uh, it's got a mad light up feature and all that, I just, it's too hard to do. Um, here we've got Varian on Throne. Uh, I forget the studio who made this. Tor Taurus or oh, somebody. Um, really cool throne piece. Then you've got, down here, we've got BE Studios Piccolo, Prime One Studios Goku, and Last Sleep Studios Goku. All really great pieces. Uh, we'll do this side. We've got the Transformer. I forgot the names. Bumblebee, Transformer Prime 1, um, uh, Sentinel Prime, Prime 1, Optimus Prime, Prime 1, um, Legolas Prime 1, quarter scale. I just got this in the other day, front on Gollum, and I gave Gollum the ring because he deserves it. Um, mine came broken, so and it's also got this really bad... Um, paint uh, QC problem here so I just got to get that fixed in the new year but okay, badly broken on the arm but really badly chipped there I glued it back together but I don't want to have a broken statue and then you got Aragon Prime 1 great base on this exciting base um, alright we'll go this side at the front, oh, I'll start over here. Here we've got Gul'dan by Damn Toys. That's a top piece too. Black Hand by Damn Toys, this being the top five. Um, a water, I know, a wind element. Warcraft wind element by Alien Studios. A shadow element, Alien Studios. Um, one fifth scale Sylvanas Blizzard, I think. Uh, the Orc. Fuck, Hellscream. This is a great statue, too. Hellscream. It's a great pose. Um, Orgrim. These are some of the best. I always look at these. These are always some of the best statues that I've ever seen. Um, fire and water elements. Again, Warcraft. These will be just like helpful pieces to the main pieces just to create a story Killrog Damn Toys um, Duratan Damn Toys uh, Dark Scar Damn Toys real cool bases on these they got sick bases good design uh, Old Soldier probably sell that in in time uh, again, if I had a top five that seems to be bigger than top five, this Arthas by, I forget the company, but this would have to be one of my favourite statues as well. It's got heaps of presents. Um, Magni Bronzebeard, again, one of my favourite statues. Dwarf on an, on an iron. Um, very cool. Paladin, Arthas Paladin. Oops. And drop something. Uh, Illidan. And what's his name? The king guy. Down here, I've got a Urukai Berserker because I can't fit it anywhere. Prime One Studios. 
and I forget the company and I forget the character. Cool statue though. A uh, couple of GBZs over here, Dragon Ball GT, I'll probably sell that one there. Uh, Goku Green Dragon, I'll probably sell that one as well. And Goku versus Vegeta, old school, cool statue. Um, I've got Lurts here, Sideshow, I'll probably sell that because I've already got a new Lurts. Um, this is a custom thing, very limited edition. Really heavy, about 50 kilos. Um, lockdown with these two dogs. Cool statue. Um, Galvatron. Prime 1. And Megatron Prime 1. So, statues are getting insanely expensive now. You know, it's not uncommon for them to be three and four thousand dollars each. Um, which does make it harder and harder to collect for a lot of people and I must admit even for me it does put me off Because you know if you're spending three four grand a pop and you're trying to collect a fair bit it uh, You know it does make it it does dwindle away quite quickly. So I Don't know where the collecting is going. I know they're getting better. I know statues are getting better But they're also getting a hell of a lot more expensive. So to sideshows credit they've always Stuck to like a quarter scale, you get a decent statue. It's you know under a thousand bucks. Um, you know, very collectible. Um, to more so than than not. Um, so to sideshow's credit, you know, they've they've stuck to their what they're good at. But uh, XM and Prime One and that are definitely you know Queen Studios are definitely pushing the boundaries on on statues and pricing and sizing and all that sort of stuff like. There's a life-size Hulkbuster, uh, life-size, so it's like four and a half meters tall, which would, wouldn't fit anywhere. You know, it's 120 grand. So, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where they're going with all that, but anyway. Um, uh, Queen Studios Ve Venom Bust. Plenty of detail. Sideshows Venom statue. A lot of people had backlash on this for the green. Um, I don't care to be honest. Um, uh, Queen, uh, Sideshow's Iron Man bust. My very first statue, Hulk vs. Wolverine. Sideshow. This is new in the collection as well. The Argonauts statue of when they were sailing through the Kings. Um, some helmets over here. Uh, what's it called? This is Sauron's. Then you got Gimli's, which is signed by Gimli. So Gimli signed this. I bought it that way. Um, Sildor's helm. Horse Rider helm. King Theoden helm. Dane Ironfoot helm. And a Elf helm. Uh, and some more. What's it called over there? Then I got a little gauntlet down there, some um, helmets and stuff down the bottom, some bits and pieces. Yeah, so that's really the whole collection, guys. Yeah, like I was saying, with um, you know collecting these days, it is getting more and more expensive. Lead times are a year plus on pre-orders. Um, you know, shipping is crazy. I don't know where it's going. I don't know where collecting's going. Um, I've been doing this for a little while now, and uh, you know, every year it seems to get different and dip, like things change. Um, yeah, pricing to me, pricing is getting a little out of hand. It is, you know, like I said, three and four thousand dollars a piece. I don't know how much people can do that that regularly, uh, unless they start reducing edition sizes. You know, like keeping them to five hundred or less. But um, I don't know. I don't know what uh, what's happening with that, you know, but is what it is, and uh, we'll keep collecting whatever we can. I still got ways to go. There's some stuff I still want to get, um, but I, I definitely will be slowing down soon enough. Um, once I build my collection room and deck it all out the way I want it with all these statues in there, set it up all properly, and then um, you know, go from there. All right, Merry Christmas, everybody! Happy New Year! Um, thank you all for watching. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you think. 
about the collection and uh, and what you think about where collecting is going. And uh, yeah, just any questions in general or whatever, love to hear it. All right, one last pan and I'll sign out. Alright, thank you all for watching.